This is truly the number one mistake I see players making in Fishing Planet. And it doesn't matter if you're level one or level 100. Kidding, of course, there is no level 100. But nevertheless. What's going everyone? Bo here from BZ Up, and today we're talking about the number one mistake I see players making in Fishing Planet, so make sure not to skip around and give me a like just for the heck of it. Now this doesn't exactly have to do with the top five mistakes uh, video we did in the past, but I will say it kind of moves along the same lines as one of those mistakes, and I wanted to go into it a little bit more. But if you haven't seen that video, I really recommend it. It'll help you out and then you'll get six mistakes that I see people making, which might help you out in the game. After playing Fishing Planet for like three years now, this is something that I hear over and over again, like every week or so, really. A player is catching bass at Lone Star and Mudwater, and then the gates of Fishing Planet heaven open up as they move on to Emerald Lake and get a sense of freedom in the game. Lots of money, you know? And then a few levels go by and they either grind their way through Emerald Walleye or they make their way to the Everglades for bass and then eventually to St. Croix for the pike and then they get to San Joaquin and then it eventually dawns on them at this point. Well, wait a second. When I was at St. Croix, I was making like $30,000 to $50,000 a night. And now that I'm at San Joaquin, I'm only making like $10,000 a night. What's the deal? This bow guy is crazy. Well, I'm not, not entirely. So let me pull back this curtain of fog for you because while you've been playing the game, you've most likely been thinking about the fish you're catching, how much they're worth, how much they weigh, and how many you can fit in your keep net by the end of the day. Am I right? Big fish like catfish and lake trout may pay a whole lot, but they also weigh a whole lot, which means you can fit less of them in your keep net. And that means you could have possibly fit smaller fish in your keep net, which over time would have been worth more compared to those few larger fish that you filled your keep net up with. Let me put it this way, and I've written down all the numbers here so I don't mess anything up. You catch one 45 pound unique lake trout, which gives you $3,061, which comes out to $68 a pound. Now instead, you catch a 15 pound northern pike, which gives you $1,752, which comes out to $116 a pound. So with this math, you could fit three trophy northern pike in your keep net for the same size as one big lake trout, right? And those pike would be worth $5,256 instead of the one 45 pound unique lake trout, which only gave you a measly 3,061. That's a difference of $2,195, right? And if you're thinking this way, yes, you would be correct. It would be absolutely crazy to keep that one lake trout instead of three trophy northerns if you're just spending one day at White Moose Lake. However, this is the mistake you're probably making. And don't feel bad because it's the number one mistake most people are making. Because the common denominator when you're playing Fishing Planet is not the amount of fish or the weight of fish or the price of fish by the end of the day. Nah, 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 Batman. The common denominator is how long you're playing Fishing Planet. Now, I'm sorry to break the fourth wall for you and ruin the immersion of the game, but while you're playing Fishing Planet, you shouldn't be thinking about how much money you're making by the end of the day and comparing that amount from one location to another. You should be thinking, okay, I've got 30 minutes to play tonight. I just finished homework. I've got two hours to play tonight. How much money can I make in that time? Because it's not money per pound that you should be thinking about. It's money per minute. So yes, and we've tested this many, many, many times before everyone. If you're comparing your end of the day uh, amount in St. Croix versus San Joaquin, it'll seem like you're making a lot more money fishing for pike at St. Croix compared to the sturgeon at San Joaquin. But if you time yourself like we've done many a time on our live streams comparing pike versus sturgeon, like what we did in this live stream, after fishing for three different 10 minute trials and recording our money and XP, we averaged $9,500 and 2,500 XP 
every 10 minutes at St. Croix, grinding pike. Now if we compared this to the three different 10 minute trials at San Joaquin, where we averaged $15,600 and 3250 XP, you will see that every 10 minutes fishing at San Joaquin, we would be making a little over $6,000 more and 750 XP more than the pike at St. Croix. And that's for every 10 minutes, 10 minutes of playing Fishing Planet. Or if you want to break it down by minute, you're making $600 and 75 XP more for every single minute that you play catching San Joaquin Sturgeon versus Pike at St. Croix. But I realize for some of you, this is way more math than you ever expected to do while playing a fishing game. But this is a fun fishing game. So there's lots of stuff you can do. More stuff than any other fishing game out there. <laughs> I had a hair in my face. And it may not be pay to win, but it certainly could be pay to progress, whether that be paying in time or in money. But I personally believe that it's the uphill battle in Fishing Planet which makes the game so fun. Anywho, just to recap, this is the number one mistake that Fishing Planet players make while playing the game. Confusing the amount of money you make per in-game day or money per pound with the amount of money you can make per minute while playing the game. And I hope it was helpful for you. Kind of restructures your mind there. And while we're restructuring your mind, how about we put in that every time you watch a BZ Hub video, you hit the like button, huh? How about it? I would definitely appreciate it. It helps me not, you know, it doesn't really affect you all that much, but you know, it makes the video show up more, you know, so we get more people, more peeps, you know what I mean? And if you're new to the channel, maybe hit that subscribe button and join us at our live streams every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central. Lots of people tell me, hey, when are your live streams? And I tell them every time. I put it at the end of every single one of my videos so if you don't know when it is then I know you're not watching it till the end everybody but if you've still made it this far why don't you type down below what your favorite candy is since Halloween's coming up but if you're watching this future then maybe it's not coming up I guess technically Halloween is always coming up even the day after Halloween oh that's kind of trippy to think about but I hope this was helpful once again we'll see you in the next video and as always everyone remember hey you. So you say you like fishing and hunting in the outdoors, but you're not following the modern day outdoorsman? <sighs> you know it's cool, right? I mean, I don't want to pressure you into doing anything, but uh, give it a shot. And I'll make you a deal. You subscribe, and I'll let you watch the videos for free. And that's a great price. Plus, we have cool shirts. So follow the MDO today. We're one planet, one family. Game on.